Number 47, letter A. What is the voltage output of a transformer used for rechargeable flashlight batteries if its primary has 500 turns, secondary 4 turns, and the input voltage is 120 volts? All right, so transformer problem. We're going to use this formula over here on the right-hand side. It says that the voltage in the secondary divided by the voltage in the primary should be equal to the number of turns in the secondary divided by the number of turns in the primary. So what are they asking us to solve for? They are asking us to solve for, it says, what is the voltage output? Output means secondary. So we are asked to solve for this. That means I gotta know all the other three variables, right? So let's see what we know. So what's the primary voltage? Well, they told us the input voltage. Oh, input's always primary, so look at that. They gave it to us, right? 120 volts. What's the number of turns in the secondary car? Look at that, they said secondary has four turns. Look at how nice this is, right? In the primary, how many? Oh, look, 500. Do a little algebra, and we're going to be able to get our answer, right? So it's 120 times 4 divided by then 500, and it's going to be 0 0.96 volts, okay? That's the voltage in the secondary, okay? Sig figs, maybe add another 0, but, you know, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Um, <laughs> letter B. Letter B. Okay. Losing my mind. What input current? is required to produce four amps of output. All right, so again, um, we can now use the other equation here for the um, transformer right problems. The secondary current divided by the primary current will be equal to the primary number of turns divided by the secondary number of turns. So what is the input current? We need to know the, this is what we're solving for, right? The primary current. So we need to know the secondary current. Oh, look, they told us the output, that's the secondary, that's a four. Right, so 4 over IP equals that number of turns in the primary. They told that to us. That's 500. Number of turns in the secondary. They told us that is going to be 4 and just go about our business. So now all we need to do is take 4 times 4 divided by 500 and look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. 0 0.032. All right. And uh, that's in terms of now amps. So that's the current. Okay. And then it says, what is the power input? Now you got to be careful. It's talking about input. So whenever you're talking about power, you, you're going to use, well, you, you may. It depends on what you know and what you don't know. But what, what I'm going to do is uh, use PIV. That's the one I always remember. Then I can go substitute in with Ohm's Law if I need any other ones. But anyway, if I want to find the primary or the input power, then I need to know the input current or the primary current, and then I need to know the input voltage or the primary voltage. So do we know those two? Yes, we do. We just solve for the input right uh, current, so that's 0 0.032. What was the input voltage? Well, didn't we, weren't we given that in the problem, right? What was it? It says input voltage is 120. So there you go. Nice and easy. So 120 times in that answer is going to be 3.84. Look at that. Watts. Okay. 3.84 watts. And that's it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. If you can, give us a hand, like, subscribe, tell your friends. All right. We're, we're trying to make a big push for you here and uh, trying to get out as many videos as possible. <laughs> Uh, without without totally losing our mind, but uh, the the uh, the decay is happening. I will see you in the next video, hopefully. Bye.